Top Spotlight, brought to you by Dragon's Lair Comics and Fantasy. Hey everybody, I'm Adam Harry from Bella Souls with Evan from Dragon's Lair Comics and Fantasy. And we're back with another Tabletop Spotlight. Evan, what is this fancy looking box today? It's man? a little fun one, it's called Loop Inc. Uh, it's about time travel and whatnot. You, you work for a company that has a time machine and everything like that, and yeah, you're trying to uh, make the most money out of that. So it's a very cool, very fun little game. Cool wait a second, that. wait a second. Who has ever heard of using a time machine to go back and make money? I don't know, right? Why would you, you don't even do care about the past, you just yeah. want to make some money. <laughs> I would never go by a sports <laughs> all night, is all I'm saying. It's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, this sounds like a pretty interesting thing. Let's go ahead and take a look in the in the box here. Okay, man, we've got Loop Inc. here. Yes. Uh, wonderful little artwork, i got to say. Yeah, um, I like the look of it. Yeah. Uh, so this is your boss for the company. Okay. Um, in the back of the box. It's called Loop Inc. Uh, he's a very greedy man, and he just <laughs> wants the money. Uh, but it was described as, uh, you really don't care about what you do in the past, and the cold time space continuum thing. Uh, you just want to make some money. Um, yeah, yeah. And it's very nice cartoonish. Art no, I wouldn't say cartoonish. I mean, it is. But it's, it's nice. good artwork. It's I like fresh art artwork. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. nothing too complicated. Um, cool, let's, uh, yeah, let's, you have the scissors over there? Uh, yeah, you would yeah. do the others? There you oh, go. Oh, yeah, why not? Let's get in here, man. I'm excited about this one. I love I love time travel stuff. What's your favorite uh, time travel movie while I open this up? Oh, man, you know, Looper was actually a really underrated movie, I gotta say, uh, and I liked it a lot, so. <laughs> Looper, yeah, yeah that's a good, was one. good one. Yeah, uh, what about you? Man, my favorite time travel is probably Back to the Future. Back to the Future, uh, yeah. Back to the Future you good. Say that. Yeah. Terminator. One oh, you two. know, I forget Terminator. All That's a time travel movie. That's yeah. very good, yeah. Uh, okay. Pretty good. The first two, definitely yes. solid. Third time one travel. was that. Yeah. Third one was fun. Drop. You had to kind of. Anyway. Okay. Uh, yeah, but Back to the Future, one, two, and three. Fate one. Anyway, here we got the uh, the rules. Right away, very short rules. Not a lot full of color, it looks like. Uh, yes, full color, whatnot. Looks pretty good. We can come back to yeah, that. Yeah, the, the, doesn't look too complicated. We got tokens. Okay. Uh, wonderful. Like Give an FFG a run for their token there money. There we go. <laughs> so there's one set. Oh, wow, look at they that. They are front and back. Very so, cool. This wheels is the second set. You gotta go back in time. Oh, those are negative points. I think points. how it works, too, is you build your own time machine. So that's ah. very cool. Yeah. Um, uh oh, we got a garage, a shop, and the armory. Yes, and you why have would you a ever need the armory? Take, uh, through time, <laughs> it's very cool. Okay. Yeah. Cool. And here are your time machines ah. as well, uh, and you build it like putting the the mechanics around it. Oh, uh, that uh, would make sense for like yes. the wheels, the wheels and, the, and stuff like that. Yeah. The weapons. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very time cool. bubbles. Okay. Yeah. Cool. And it looks like it's a four player game because there's four different. Yes, I think it was colors. maximum four players. Let's in consult the so box. Those are not two to four back. players. Yes. Yes. Um, oh, and then. So once you have all your. Oh, that's very nice. I like that a lot. Once you punch these out, you've got a nice place to put them. And it has a, it has a lid. With a lid on it. Too. That's a nice touch. <laughs> that's so nice. We've opened a lot of boxes, and you know what? They always spill out. And Man, it's not even a what. bad lid. It's very good. It's <laughs> um, a <laughs> nice touch. Oh, we got the deck here. Deck, okay. That's not so a lot of cards. like white noise anomaly cards and stuff that are going on. And again, I like the artwork. It's kind of nice. Um, and then you have these. What looks like time cards. Time cards. <laughs> yeah, it's very cool. Um, uh oh, very nice. Eighty. There you go. So probably when you're going back in time, this one looks like uh, 3.5 billion BC and then uh, 370 million BC. And so you know, this microbes. one says, dip your toe in the primordial soup. There you go. It's probably not a good idea. <laughs> and the other one says, uh, pet the first land animal. Uh, that <laughs> probably won't be too bad. Yeah. Unless you didn't wash your hands and give him bacteria, Ooh. and now he's going to die from it. Butterfly Whoops. effect, man. <laughs> uh, and then the box, of course, yeah. is just that. Uh, very, nice. very nice. That's a nice little uh, organized, yeah. organized thing. Yeah. yeah a lot of game companies don't really think about it. They give you baggies, which are nice enough, but uh, yeah. having your own little slots is very cool, very unique. Yeah, um, that is a nice touch. Actually, and then put that goes there. Go. there. Let's cool. go ahead and uh, go pause real quick and then take a look at the rulebook. So the, the rules to Loop Inc. are pretty cool. They're, they're, it's pretty quick. Uh, um, to, to, to read through. Right. <laughs> it's a little hard to wrap your head around, but basically what's going on, you time want Time travel's going, complicated. Yeah. <laughs> Shocker. <laughs> New, spoiler, time travel. <laughs> You're basically replaying the same day three times. Okay. That's a cool mechanic. Yeah, yeah. So you get the first day, you get three actions, and you have your little action deck, and you place them in the order that you want to complete them. These are the action cards here. And the goal is to go to trips in time. And you can place a little add token on one of the trip cards that you're you're taking people back in time. Okay. Because you okay. want money, um, and people are paying for these trips. Right. 
You're not taking anything, because that could cause some tears in the space time. Definitely, machine. yes. <laughs> but there's also some fun stuff that happens if if some if another player tries to go on the same trip as you during the day. Oh, okay. You can cause some tears in the space. And that's kind time. of the interaction between the players too. Right, yeah, right. Because okay. you can you can try to go before somebody else goes, and then uh, so it's, this, that's why we have this little map. Here. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Two players on the same spot. Yeah, you can. Well, yeah. Yeah, that's the okay. score. It it's it's a little oh, okay, complicated, score. but it's, okay. it's once you see it in action, it makes a lot more sense. Um, to take a trip, let me grab those trip cards. If you see on these cards, they have the little icons down there on the top and bottom there. Right, you, uh, right, yeah, here. right there. And then on the finger <laughs> is there. So what's going on is you have to have those components to take that trip. Oh, okay, that's kind of cool. So, and then the, the further back in time you go, the more components you need. Right. And they're worth more points though. And components could be stuff like tires or like for defense you have spikes. And, right, right. Uh, little helicopter, windmill Maybe thing. You need a net to catch a bug or yeah, something like that. Yeah, a horn. Yeah, or a telescope. Oh, no, it's a telescope, that's right. Yeah. yeah. So that's very and cool. And again, you, you are replaying the same day. Okay. Uh, and you get those, sorry, you get those components from the component shop, from the board. You have to go, you have to plan your turn to go pick stuff up. That said, um, you're replaying the same day three times like we mentioned. Right. So the first day you get three actions in your action deck and you lay those out. The second day, you have to play those actions in the same order, but you get six actions now. Um, because those, of the previous day. Right, Okay. but you can play new actions and they slide in between, they can slide in between those actions. Ah, uh, time so, travel, man. Time travel, so <laughs> you may run into your past self, which don't touch each other, I heard that's bad. <laughs> um, on top of that, on the third day, you have nine actions now, and okay. they have to be played in the same order, except for the new actions that can then slide in between those things. Right, and you can see that on the card too. It has day one. Uh, the, do the we ship. have the cards over here? Uh, we have day one on the ship, day two, and day three. Yes, um, right yes, here. Perfect. You can see on the ship. There's the first day, and obviously day one you only have access to the day one ship to launch. Right. Day two, etc. Day three. So, okay. Yeah, you Makes can sense. only launch those on that day. But the whole point is to go back in time on these trips. Um, and score points taking people on those trips. Here's how you kind of lay out the board and stuff like that. You kind of see there. And there's all the different trip cards. Right, and then over here you can see an example of what it looks like. Uh, someone going into day two and you can see um, the mechanics of all that stuff. Yeah, they have stuff all over. Yeah. yeah. And then day three doesn't have anything yet because it hasn't happened, happened yet. Day. Yeah. Okay. And it's weird because you're playing the same day, but... <laughs> Things gonna, and that's what I was talking about. Head around it, the, you know? the new the new actions slide in crookedly so that you know. What I see. New. I see. And then you you do you can't go on the same trip like I mentioned that another player is going on. Uh, the first player gets full points and the second player gets a, a penalty for following somebody. Okay. Through. So uh, it may not be profitable to go on those short term trips. And of um, course, causing a tear in the time space continuum, <laughs> you get a negative six points. Party, you no. think you get less or even more? Uh, but you know. if the first one is only minus one, oh, okay. the second one's minus three, and then it goes. And then if you, oh, I see, negative yeah. six. If you go to three space yeah, time, only two. one point for yeah. doing that stuff. To the board, <laughs> it's old Doc Brown. It's cool. Dude. It's cool. I'll buy the the one. Uh, Sports on the it's fine. Okay. <laughs> but that's, and they have some stretch goals if you were part, just Kickstarter stuff. Right. If you got the expansions, they have those rules in there too. Okay, so. yeah. But Perfect. this is just the core game, sorry. Yes. <laughs> but yeah, it's a neat little game. Um, yeah, let's uh, let's hop out for a really quick re recap. We'll talk about the uh, the players and the and times and all that fun stuff, so. Well, that was Loop Inc. Uh, let's quick run out on the stats on this one. Who's this one by? Uh, it is by Eagle Griffin Games, um, cool. and it's two to four players. Runtime is usually around 20 to 4 minutes, so it's not a very long game at all. 20, 20 to 40 minutes? Yeah. yeah. And this was uh, 10 and up, right? Yes, recommended 10 and up. Um, yeah, it's a nice game, a little fun yeah. game. Yeah, fun, it's sure. like a fun little family game. There's yes. a, if you like time travel at all, do you want to uh -huh. talk about spatial time anomalies? And it is uh, $49.99 uh, if you're ever thinking of picking it up. It's very cool. cool. This is in stores right now, right? Yes. In stores, go check it out, Loop Inc. Pretty cool game. Yes, very cool. All right, cool. Well, that's been another Tabletop Spotlight. I'm Adam Harry from Bell Lost Souls. And I'm Evan from Dragon's Lair Comics and Fantasy. Thanks again for watching, folks. Have a good one. Tabletop Spotlight, brought to you by Dragon's Lair Comics and Fantasy. Thanks for watching. Ooh.